Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about what does an inverse relationship mean in math. Now, when it comes to inverse relationships, we're often dealing with the opposite operation of the original function. So, for example, if you look at what the original function has, an inverse relationship would talk about the opposite operations. So, for example, if you have a function that involves x plus 6, you're talking about an addition, addition of 6. The inverse relationship, we're talking about the opposite um, operation. That means there's going to be subtraction of 6 involved. Similarly, if you have a function where you have a situation where something is divided by 4, where division is the original operation, the inverse relationship would be multiplication by 4. Now, it does get more involved than this. If you have a function, a scenario, where you're taking something and you're cubing it. Well, raising something to the third power in terms of the inverse relationship would mean doing the opposite of that, which means taking the cube root of it. Now, if speaking of radicals, if the original function dealt with, let's just say, a square root of a function, then the inverse relationship, again, you're taking the opposite um, approach, you would square, because square is the opposite of the square root. So when you're talking about an inverse relationship, you're really talking about the opposite operations of what was originally done. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief glimpse as to what does an inverse relationship in math mean.